Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 BMW i7. Now, this is not a gasoline powered car. It is an ultra luxury sedan that is 100% electric. And I will tell you, it will blow your mind how impressive this vehicle is. It is at the absolute premium level of sedans. And if you want to impress your friends, this is the vehicle they have. I'm not impressed too easily when it comes to vehicles. We've literally seen everything. This was impressive from the moment you opened the door. And there's a lot of interesting details about this vehicle. We'll try to hit as many as we can. Of course, if you have any additional comments or questions, you can put that at the bottom in the description. I will get you an answer. Let's start off with these headlights. They are different. Why are they different? They're made of Swarovski crystal. Yes, real crystal. They're very cool. And they're also your greeting light. You have your LED lights here down below. And this is the one time I have to say, I'm not a big fan of these gigantic grills, but on this i7, and also the 7 Series that is gasoline powered, it fits in. It really does. One of the reasons these grills work is because the line is carried all the way along the hood, up over the top, and fits in well with a gigantic vehicle. It does not fit in as well, in my opinion, with a smaller vehicle, but again, you can put that down in the comments below. I really think it blends in nice. I think they did a really nice job. Lots of chrome detail. This vehicle is large and in charge. And I think it has a brain of its own. And you'll see why as we drive it and some of the cool things that are in this car. This is really impressive. One thing you will note, all electric BMWs have this blue line all around the roundel. This is what they call the logo. It's also a propeller because BMW also made airplanes. They have a huge history in racing as well. Our test vehicle rides on 21 inch all season tires that are run flats, but you can also get it in a smaller size. But the wheel is very special and only for the electric cars. There are a lot of great features with this vehicle. It's also important to note that it has a long warranty on the battery. And that's one of the things people were concerned about when it came to electric cars, but that concern is now gone. You will see this vehicle is a beautiful sedan, very large doors, soft closed doors, and soft touch open and close. Just put your hand underneath and the door opens. Nothing is slamming. Everything is calm and quiet as the interior is, so is the exterior. When you come around to the back of this vehicle, there is privacy screens both in the sides and in the back because it's about the passengers as well as the driver in the front. But across the back, you'll find this very high trunk lid. It's much higher than other vehicles of this size, but there's a reason for that. Remember, there's batteries underneath this car and they're not giving up the space. They're just changing the shape of the vehicle. You've got your X-Drive 60 and this is the i7. Again, that round Dell is blue and LED taillights. Very nice, very clean, very purposeful. But remember, it's a BMW and they wanna keep it along that family lines. This interior is spectacular. This is premium top of the line. Super impressive. Metal grates. The technology is really intense. BMW has done an amazing job. That is a knurled knob. That is not smooth. That has actually got ridges in it. It's really awesome. Since we're in a parking garage, I'm using this to our advantage so you can see the night vision, the real wood, the real material. And yes, this is Schwabowski crystal, the real deal. Pretty fabulous. Your controls for the door are on the door. Lock, unlock, massage settings for both driver and passenger side and even the seating are crystals. The detail in the speakers, everything was thought out. All of the materials are real. You would think the price of this vehicle would be crazy. And you're gonna be impressed when we get to that at the end. This is the glass roof. When you pull it back, it's really spectacular and we'll show you what's going on in the back seat that will really impress you. Just all the details are super impressive. So much technology, you can't even go to the back seat to show you what's going on. But I'm gonna go back there anyhow. 
and the doors open and you can even open all the doors. This is the back seat screen. There's adjustments for all of this. You can adjust your temperature, swipe up and you can set your seating settings. You can also press your home button here and allow you to hit other things. You can do your phone, your my modes, your fire TV, your display, your blinds. Fire TV? Wait a minute. What is this? Check that out. All the screens shut down and a 31 inch TV kicks on with, it's a theater screen. Super impressive. And now those sitting in the back seat, God, my kids would have loved this when we went on road trips. This would have been fabulous. And you can fold it up, you can zoom it in, you can pick different sizes. Then you can go back and you can say, I wanna turn on that Fire TV. It says, good morning. You can pick your language in English or whatever language you want. You can do Bluetooth, hit continue, hit okay. And you now have Fire TV. It's checking for updates. You can do Bluetooth, you can do different size screens as well. All of this is easy to use. This is all on each side. Both the driver and the passenger side have this. In addition, you've got a, a cushioned area here for charging. Two cup holders, boom, that's that way, or pull it out. In the center, you have more storage, and of course, USB-C charging, and a pass-through, because that is a German thing, gotta have the pass-through. Love these cushions in the back. Wow, super soft, all recycled materials. And to open the doors, you press the button, the door opens, you've got ventilation. This is for putting in uh, more charging here. You can put in the additional entertainment screens here if you wish. Just everything is fabulous. I'm super impressed. I don't get impressed very easily, but I mean, just every single thing about this the materials, the Alcantara, just amazing. Now, if you don't want this screen up, it's very easy. You can just go back, take your display, fold it up. The display then folds up and it shuts off. And then you get the view of the road. Really impressive back here, just pretty cool. The front motor is powered by a 255 horsepower, 269 pound-feet of torque. The rear motor has 308 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, giving you a combined power of 536 horsepower, 549 torque. As far as charging time, DC fast charging is 10 minutes, will get you 80% charge. A level two charger will take about an hour, give you about 36 miles of range, and your home charger will get you from zero to 100% in 12 hours and a 240 volt outlet. Zero to 60 time, 4.1 seconds. Combined MPGE is 85 to 92 miles per gallon. Range 296 to 318 miles, depending upon which configuration that you purchase. Because this vehicle is electric, it's going to be very fast. Zero to 60 time is 4.1 seconds. It has all of the best of the best. This is a 7 Series BMW, and you should expect nothing but the best on a vehicle like this. And BMW has delivered that. The brakes are regen. They grip. They're strong. They're firm. You get used to that pretty quickly. This does have gesture control. This is for the media launch. They put a special music package together for us. I mean, even if you're looking at just the navigation, pretty impressive. All safety on this vehicle is standards. You're gonna have state-of-the-art, forward collision warning, blind spot detection, lane change departure, active assists. Every single passive system is included. When you're talking about a vehicle of this luxury level, this has to have all of the safety features. Good morning, BMW. Can you tell me a story? The E1 
an electrically powered city car designed to be driven in urban areas. This was the first time that an entire vehicle was created on the foundation of its electric drive, a tremendous shift from past prototypes, which were generally converted serial models. Thanks to a consistent lightweight construction and high strength structure, the E1 already distinguished itself through its lightweight and high safety level back then. The achievable driving performance was also impressive. 32 kilowatts power, torque of 150 Nm, and a reach of about 160 kilometers. These key figures even made an electric car interesting for everyday use. However, the E1 was never mass produced. At the start of the 1990s, the energy storing technology was still too expensive and not yet sophisticated enough. Well, you know, the thing is, when you have a vehicle like this, it's so sophisticated that it's almost too sophisticated. I don't know if that's possible, but it's leading us to the point where people are wanting autonomous vehicles, and this is something that could lead us to that path. It's up to you as the consumer whether this is something that you would want. Now, what's important to note about this vehicle because it's all electric is that it charges really quickly, uh, and that is also part of this vehicle and what is included. All the controls are also in front of you, so again, Everything is really intuitive. If you are a BMW enthusiast or any car enthusiast, it, you'll find it's very easy to drive this vehicle. So as far as the technology, it's not too much. It's all right in front of you. You get used to it. It's very intuitive. The materials on the seat are recycled. They're fabulous. They're soft. It's like a couch in your home. You don't want to leave it. It's really, really spectacular. The cut crystal is real Swarovski crystal. I'm really impressed with that, and it just has a nice panache about it. It's super classy and high-end, and I'm really, really impressed with the materials. Just enjoying the drive, and I don't say that about many cars. This is one of those cars you're just sitting in it going, this works. This is really, really nice. When you're looking at the trunk space of the i7, there is 11.5 cubic feet of storage, so you're not giving up anything. Underneath this cover is another area for storage. There is no spare tire, so it would run on run flats or a tire inflation product. It's important to note that BMW Care is included with this car, and that is a nice plus. It helps save a little bit on that pocketbook, and we'll talk about price in just one second. Let's talk about pricing. The vehicle starts at $119,000. You want the executive or the two-tone paint, all of these start to add up. Very typical of all the German cars. When you want to add those little features, you want that drop down screen, you want that special audio system, all of that starts to add up. This vehicle tops out at $150,000. Now that may seem like a lot of money, but a vehicle with this luxury, this technology, and all of the premium features, it's actually a pretty good deal when you compare it to its competition, which would be the Audi or the Mercedes. They could actually be substantially more expensive. So this actually is an impressive vehicle for what you're getting for your money in this space. It has better value than a lot of the competitors. And I think that's really important. BMW wants to get electric vehicles out there. They are not giving up on gasoline powered vehicles. So if you think I want a gasoline powered vehicle, they offer that in the 760i. And if you're looking at a plug-in, That'll be coming down the road. They're also working on hydrogen. So there's a lot of interesting technologies. BMW is racing with these to prove that they're worthy and then they will bring it to market. And that's what they've always done. And you'll see that transition with a lot of brands. They're all working on that. Like I said, I'm rarely impressed with a vehicle, both inside and out and everything about it, especially an electric car. This one blows me away. Just every single thing you would want, your family would want, no matter what seat in the house, it's a great seat. Really, really impressive. I do not own this car. This would not be bad. I don't know if it would fit in my garage. It's quite large, but I have to say, pretty impressive. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, the link for that is in the description along with the website, the podcast, and my social media. I do appreciate your support. Put your comments down below for anything I didn't cover because literally there's so much on this car. We could be here for two hours and I don't want to do that to you. So ask your questions in the comments. I will get you an answer even if I have to contact someone at BMW, but I think I got it all already and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much.